Brittany Griner owns 85% of the WNBA's total dunks of all time, begging the question, why doesn't the league lower the rim? The rim in both the NBA and WNBA is 10 feet, and in order to dunk, your fingers need to be about 6 inches above the rim, requiring a reach of about 126 inches. Men naturally meet this vertical jump, but women come up about 10 inches short. Lowering the rim would lead to far more flashier, awe-inspiring jams, and would also allow more players to throw it down. Given the lack of revenue that the league brings in every year, maybe this could bring the women's game to a new level. I understand that current players would have to adjust their shooting form, and stars in the W like Candace Parker and Brianna Stewart have been opposed to this idea which we'll get to in a minute, but firstly, here's why the argument to lower the rim is legitimately there. In volleyball, nets are lowered by about 7 inches for women, the tee boxes in golf are moved up significantly for women, and in tennis, women play fewer sets than men do at grand slams. In general, sports are adjusted to account for the physiological differences between men and women. The average height of an NBA player is 6 foot 6 and a half, while a WNBA player's average height is around 5'11". The primary reason people tune into the NBA is the potential to see their favorite players dunk on one another because dunks are the most entertaining part of basketball. They're why the league continues to be the second most popular major sports league in North America. From poster jams, 360s, windmills, and lobs, to the infamous dunk contest, without throwdowns, the NBA wouldn't be anywhere near the product that it currently provides to fans across the globe. Many of you are probably thinking that whether or not the rim's 9 feet or 10 feet, the women just can't jam it which I disagree with. Lowering the rim even just a tad bit would generate tremendous interest for the women's game, and as athletes get stronger over the decades, this could lead to a whole new product. NBA insider of Medium.com, BG Lemon, calculated back in 2016-17 that the average height of the women in the WNBA was 72.57 inches, and 79.1 inches for the men in the NBA, a difference of 6.53. He went on to further calculate how high the average basketball player can jump using standing reach, which a study from Hoops Beast proves to be 1.33 times their normal height and vertical jump. Based off a calculation of standing reach times average height plus vertical jump, the NBA players' reach stretched out 18 inches further than WNBA players. Looking at it from another perspective, and if men were playing at a similar height disadvantage, they'd be playing on an 11 and a half foot rim. Lowering the basket isn't a new idea, as it's been suggested by NBA legends Shaquille O'Neal, as well as Tracy McGrady. So in beach volleyball, the women's net is maybe half an inch lower. You think if we just lower the rim so y'all could dunk like we dunk, that'll give y'all more oomph than you already have? No. I mean, cause listen, y'all are doing the, the step back, the pull back, y'all doing everything we're doing, but I don't see a lot of people going up with two hands and you know, back. Oh, it's down. coming. Opportunity is a- So you don't think if we just is a, drop it to what? the line, Nah, and a half. I'm, I, I'll she guarantee Layla, she's in the dance, but my next child will be drop step dunking. I promise. <laughs> ah! Candace Parker wasn't having any of it, but in every single sport, that's played by both men and women, there's adjustments based on science which ultimately increase the entertainment value. Except for basketball, that is. And sure, moving the rim down would force current players to adjust the arc on their shooting release, which they don't want to do. But for the betterment of the league's future players who'd factually make way more money if dunking was involved, I think it's time we see some current WNBA players step up and support this movement. But Brianna Stewart, who's one of the league's brightest stars, wasn't having Tracy McGrady's take back in 2018. This talk, <laughs> I, I think me and Rebecca there. Lobo had this talk okay. uh, during the Hall of Fame, okay. and, I, and I was talking about um, doing something that gets you know, n not your average fans, people that don't watch WNBA basketball, what can we do to get those fans to tune in? And I was like, why can't we lower the goal to at least nine, nine and a half feet? Because I think for somebody that don't watch WNBA basketball, to have women dunking on other women would definitely bring more excitement to that game and have 
you know, those guys that don't watch WMA basketball tune in and you get more fans that way. What do you think about that? I mean, my, my thought on it is, you know, I've been playing basketball on a 10 foot hoop my whole life. So to move it to nine and a half, it's going to take a long time to get used to that. And then also, like, we're only playing basketball to dunk. Like, I'm not sure. I'm on, you just want to see me dunk on somebody? Brianna Stewart, the answer to that question is yes. Everyone wants to see you dunk on somebody. To me, that answer from Stewart, who's become a three-time All-Star, sums up the reason why the WNBA is where it is right now, at the bottom, a joke among your average sports fan. Current players aren't willing to make a slight sacrifice for the betterment of the future. Valentina Shevchenko in MMA, Serena Williams in tennis, and Simone Biles in gymnastics are only a fraction of the female sports stars outside of basketball. If the WNBA wants to generate a name like those ones, changes will undoubtedly have to be made. With the start of the NFL season and MLB playoffs going on and NBA media day today, as you almost definitely weren't aware of, the WNBA playoffs are currently taking place. Funded by the NBA, it's tough to see how much longer that this league's going to be funded. Within the next decade, something drastically different needs to happen. Let me know your thoughts on the W in the comment section. Hope you have a great one.